are about to receive this ALS Courage Award. Do you feel courageous? That's just inherently part of who I am. You know, I'm not going to go gently into that good night. <laughs> Rage against the dying of the light. That's courage. Uh, what is, I'll, I'll quote the cowardly line. What makes the muskrat guard his musk? Courage. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. When you <laughs> were first diagnosed, you didn't necessarily want to talk about it, but that has changed a lot. What has given you that courage to speak out and to make sure that you're helping others who are also fighting? Yeah. Well, look at me and look how I used to be. Uh, Denying wanting to be the poster boy for this. This is not the legacy I wanted to leave. But hearing all the stories about the families uh, that are in the lurch of this, they have somebody with this, this disease in their family, and how it leaves them in the lurch and bankrupt mm. when it's all said and done. Uh, I can do something about that. And already, we've already started. There's a few girls. I call it my wives' uh, club. It was a wives' club on the internet. She's in touch with these girls that have husbands. There's a little girl uh, down in Dallas. She ain't Smith. And he, her husband played fullback for the Oakland Raiders. Steve Smith. And he's had it for 18 years. She's and been caregiving him. Day. Mo better advice than the neurologist I've seen. Wow. Because they deal with it every day. Yeah. Oh, totally. That's what I was going to ask you. Like, what has that kind of tangible interaction with somebody who understands where you you're know, at? You know, Brenna Gray hooked me up with her, and I was appreciative of that fact because Mike and Diana, you know, reached out and wanted to help us, and they did by hooking me up with Shea Smith, Steve's wife, who's been taking care of him for 18 years, and I talk to her every day about what she's doing, how she, you know, what she's feeding him, what they're, oh, yeah. how they're handling it so she can lead me in the right direction as she really has. Yeah, they just put me on a feeding tube. Yeah, wow. and she knows all about that. Yeah. So she was able she's to tell me what we get, yeah. the best food to put in him and how many bags a day and, you know, how to keep the tube clean and all that stuff. Yeah. Wow. She's been amazing. Is it a daily evolving education oh, yes. for you guys? For sure. Yeah, I mean, how do you battle, how do you handle all of the things that are coming at Let you? Let me tell you what, so fast? if it wasn't for the NFL and the McCaskies in particular championing that mm -hmm. for the guys that have played in the NFL, I don't see how we could do it. Yeah. The benefits yeah. that the NFL yeah. has for this. They have for ALS patients is awesome. They pay for caregiving. But you know, we want to help those that don't have that mm -hmm. um, NFL pension. And, um, well, this is a good start, baby. Tell them about this thing. Yeah, this Saturday at 9.30 in the morning down at Soldier Field, they're having um, an ALS Les Turner Foundation walk to benefit ALS um, at Soldier Field. We're going to have some of the bears out there to support their brother. And everybody's welcome to sign up. And I guess my dog Blue has a few yes. things to say about it, too. He wants to tell us exactly yeah. what's happening. He wants to tell you that he'll be there. Yeah. <laughs> and he says, come on out, everybody. Support Steve, my daddy. How, what has the support been like for you? Because just in the last few months, they've had <laughs> Team Mongo events and fundraisers. Oh, and what boy. Is that, I mean, how, how has that impacted uh, the fight that you're in? Daddy, don't get on his tube. Everybody should realize in their life, the people they have touched and who care about them. Most of the time, the world is so busy, you don't see their compassion for you. Boy, it reinvigorates my belief in humanity to see people's compassion. Because, you know, it's a hard world now and everybody's so cynical. Well don't get that way world because uh before it's all said and done and you're seeing your mortality look back on your life and what did you do because that's what you're going to be proud of what has been the biggest challenge for you i know playing football you you were in control of everything that was happening in and out of your body 
what has it been like to be on the other side and know that you can't you can't stop it and that is the worst part i've turned in to from the entertainer to just somebody in the house a fan mm -hmm. i'm so glad football season on i get to sit here and watch games you know like i've taken for granted and wasn't watching the sport like I used to. Mm -hmm. And now, oh boy. Good to be a fan again. Whole new fan, yeah. That's awesome. What did you think of our Bears? <laughs> Honestly. Uh, they, they've got a lot of work to do, don't they? <laughs> yes, they do. Yes, they do. Is that hard to watch? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I meant by what you have. Don't take for granted what you got going on in your life right now because if you do later on in your life you will look back and regret it. Mm -hmm. What is the, I mean you said you, the poster boy you don't want to be, but what is the ALS community like and how have they also embraced you, the others who are in this position, NFL and beyond? It's been awesome really. The ALS wives that I've met have been super helpful and still good friends of ours to this day. So hopefully we'll go on this journey together with them. Misty, how much uh, w does he deserve uh, a courage award? Oh my award? God, he's the most courageous person. I think any of us know. He's, he's the best. He's a super sweet guy. You don't have to try to be courageous. You are. Yeah. You understand me? Uh, two uncles might be fighting over the last beer <laughs> at the family picnic in the backyard but somebody else better not mess with the other one outside that family you know what i mean yeah yeah there's that feeling yeah wow. the family is compassionate and they care and they want to do for you mm -hmm. that's what everybody should know before they're over and so few people know that. It's true. It's true. Well, I hope you feel it because people are constantly thinking of you and you're still very much top of mind, especially a Bears fan. Look, this is what I want to tell everybody out there that's praying for me. I'm going to be up at the pearly gates with St. Peter and I'm going to let, I'm going to make him let all of y'all in. <laughs> Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.